What's going on guys? So in this video I'm going to show you how to install Magic Lantern onto your Canon camera. For this tutorial we're just going to need a few things. First up we're going to need a Canon camera that is compatible with Magic Lantern firmware. Next up we're going to need a SD card. I recommend a high speed SD card. It makes best use of all the features of Magic Lantern. And finally, we're just going to need the Magic Lantern firmware and or a firmware upgrade file for your camera if applicable. And last up, we're just going to need a Windows or Mac computer, preferably one with an SD card reader. Most Canon cameras, however, you can connect them via USB to access the memory card. Okay, so first up, we just need to head over to the Magic Lantern website and download the correct build of Magic Lantern for our camera. Here I'm using a Canon 650D, also known as a Rebel T4i. For this camera, we need to be on a specific firmware version, as you can see here. So first up, we're just going to download both the files needed, the actual Magic Lantern software itself, and the correct firmware file. Before installing any firmware, we first need to format the memory card correctly. To do this, insert the card into the camera, go into the settings, and find the format card option. This will obviously erase the card and delete everything on it, so back up what you need first. Once the format is completed, remove the memory card from the camera and reinsert it back into the computer. This next step is only required if your camera is not currently running on the correct firmware version for Magic Lantern to install. To find out which firmware version you're on, head into the menu on your camera and then go across until you can find firmware version displayed under the last settings icon. If your camera requires a firmware upgrade, head back over to the computer extract the firmware you recently just downloaded from Magic Lantern and copy the .fir file to the root directory of your SD card. Now simply insert the SD card back into the camera. Now open up the menu and head over to the firmware version menu item we had selected before. Simply click the OK or Enter button on it. Next, click Camera. A prompt should appear asking if you wish to upgrade the camera firmware. Just press across and select OK. The camera firmware upgrade procedure takes roughly five minutes to complete. A select few models of Canon cameras have a slightly different upgrade procedure to this. I will leave a link down below of how to accomplish this on those models. Okay, so now we're ready to install Magic Lantern onto the memory card. Just remove the card from the camera again and reinsert it into the computer. Now, once the memory card appears, delete the firmware file we just had on the memory card. Now go and extract the Magic Lantern build that we just downloaded before and copy all the files that were inside the folder onto the root directory of the memory card. Once all the files have copied over, insert the memory card back into the camera. Go ahead and go into the menu system again Go across to the Firmware Upgrade menu, select OK. Next, you should be greeted by the Magic Lantern installer. This whole process is automatic. It backs up your camera's original ROM to the SD card and sets the memory card to be bootable so Magic Lantern will load up every time the camera turns on. Once the installation and setup is complete, you just need to completely turn off the camera and turn it back on again. It is also recommended to copy the ROM backup stored in the memory card to a safe place on your computer. Now, every time your camera boots up with this memory card installed, you can just press the trash can icon to bring up the Magic Lantern menu. Please note that due to Magic Lantern running entirely off the memory card, if you format it or replace the memory card, you're going to need to redo the Magic Lantern installation again. The whole process doesn't take that long, so it's not a huge deal. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to see other tutorials on other topics, just let me know down below and I'll see what I can do. If you want to see other videos similar to this or something completely different, why not check out my channel? Until next time, see ya.